Hello, this is Mr. Lewick, and today you're going to start a project called Favorite Restaurant Google Slideshow Presentation. Woohoo! Last year you did Best Pet, and this year you're doing your favorite restaurant. Um, now, I picked that topic because it's going to be something you already know a lot about. That's important because I want you to spend your time on your slides, putting them together, making them look very neat and professional. As fourth graders, that's the expectation. Um, so you don't have to spend all your time researching because you know information about your favorite restaurant. That being said, if you want to do a Google search to find some other stuff out um, or get some pictures of food, of course you can do that. All right, so I want to show you an example of a slideshow. And I'm not going to do the presentation, but just some things to think about. This is the title slide. This is the title I chose. I'm not going to tell you what your title should be. Uh, you might want to have the name of your restaurant in the title. And mine's going to be Five Guys. On this slide, I would do lots of talking about Five Guys, especially where it is found. You're going to have a location slide with a link to a map. What I mean by that is I turn words like this down here, Lockport, New York, into a link. So when I click on it, it opens up a map that shows where the restaurant is found. Here's a Google map. This is where Five Guys is right here. And it's actually showing how to get to Star from Star Point to Five Guys. That would be a great field trip. All right, so I'm going to X that out, go back to my slideshow. You'll have slides talking about the food. Uh, here's my main idea, hamburgers. That should be the biggest word on the page, your main idea. And here's my details. I'm going to talk about the toppings and variety. Notice I do not have a lot of text. You're not doing a book report. So you're not writing paragraphs filled with sentences, just words that let your audience know what you're gonna talk about. It's also a reminder for you and lots of pictures too, big pictures. So here's another food. You're also gonna add some animations. Just don't go crazy with the animations because the audience will focus on that and not on you. And when you present, you want your audience focusing on you. And the drinks. And notice how each slide has a similar look to it, similar font on each side, or same font. Size is about the same, and the color shows up. You want to make sure your audience can easily see it. And some interesting fact. I was going to talk about how it's, there's fun places to sit at the Peanuts. Uh, and the only thing I'm missing is some sort of ending slide. So you'll want to make sure you have an ending slide. You won't get to that today, but just keep that in mind. So on to the project. On the stream of your Google Classroom, you'll click the top favorite restaurant Google slideshow presentation and your page will look something like this. Now your actual project will be over in the right hand side of your screen in the your work section. When you open it up, it looks like this. Notice there's some writing over there. That's important. You want to scroll over on each slide to the left because I have the directions for that slide. It's not to tell you exactly how to do it, but it tells you the things you are expected to have on there, but you can decide how you want it to look. So here's the title of the presentation slide. So you'll have probably the name of the restaurant, you make sure you have your name, the date, use today's date, and some pictures. Now the next slide has something else. This is just a reminder how each slide should have a good professional look to it. Words should not be all over the place. The font should be the same. And my main idea here is playful. That should be the biggest word on the page. And here's my details. You only want to have about two or four, two to four details in each slide. Otherwise, there's too much text on it. And when I slide over the other way, here's the directions. Ooh, this is where I have to create a link that opens to directions, and pictures, and main idea. All right, so each slide has information for you. Now, today, you will be expected to know what restaurant you're going to do, and you should probably be able to finish your title slide today. Maybe you'll get more done, but at minimum, that's, that's the expectation today. Now, you know I'm not here, so make sure you are on your best behavior, being respectful. I expect you to do that when I'm not around. We don't want anybody in library jail today or when I come back. All right, something else. This link goes to Google Apps Help. I made this website. It has links to all types of short videos that show you how to do stuff, especially this one. This is how you create a text link. So you'll need that to know how to create a link to a map. You'll probably have to do a Google search for directions and then copy that web address and use this. If you forget how to do other things, they're all right here. That's important because I'm not around today, but you can use this anytime. So use this as a research, as a resource. That's it. Good luck and have fun.